Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Uh, welcome back. This is our fifth video from P2P series and in this video I'm going to explain you the how to create the purchase order. But before going to start the purchase order, let's quickly analyze the job requirements or the job postings whether this requirement is there or not. So for that we will go to the Nokri.com and we will vouch two job requirements then we will create the purchase order. So here you can see two job requirements are there from the Nokri.com and uh, the main purpose why I started creating this type of videos basically this is uh, end user related videos. So this video is going to help the freshers those uh, though they don't have any work experience and they are trying to start their career and uh, here in most you will find that uh, the qualification the required qualification is the become or MBA finance, freshers, so all the job requirements. So all this uh, series of video what I'm creating. So it, it is going to help the end users only or it, this requirement is for the new people who are going to start their career on finance and they don't have any work experience. So this is going to help like zero to five years experience. So anyone can start their career in MNC so that uh, in future, maybe you can have a better career and uh, that is the purpose of this video. So um, I think some people who are watching this video already you have completed FICO course from different training institutes and uh, after that you are trying lot to get into consulting job but you are not getting the jobs but it's because uh, right now you are not eligible for consulting job for consulting job you should have the domain experience and this one is going to give you the domain experience so once you have two three two to three years of this domain experience then later you may upgrade to SAP consulting uh, job so for that these videos are going to help you so in this video first let's uh, the both are your p2p so exclusively i have searched this one so it is the role is accounts payable executive accounts payable developer accounts payable process associate anything you can say here requirement is bcom or maximum mba finance some companies they are also like uh, they uh, bcom mcom mba finance uh, anything you can say so here you can see there is a requirement so we have in our previous video uh, in video number three we have created the business partner or the supplier so you can see there is a requirement of supplier the person should know about the supplier then in this particular video we will learn how to create the purchase order so there is a requirement of purchase order so each job whatever the videos I am preparing from the job point of view if you are going to sincerely follow these videos and you are going to practically apply this one in the system and you will practice then uh, uh, it is going to really going to help you and simultaneously once you will start working on these you will get lots of uh, issues so maybe you can add that in comments or uh, accordingly I will also try to give you the solutions right so uh, let's check another requirement which is also similar profile so this is also you can see it is re re related to accounts payable in which processing and you can see here also the requirement is uh, um, again graduation and uh, salary and all location it is given so I, I hope you got some idea that what is the requirement okay so or you basically this type of video is going to help now let's move into the SAP system and we will learn how to create the purchase order but before that let me show you how to uh, create one purchase order but before uh, creating purchase order let's understand Excel so what are the criteria will be there what is the prerequisite to create one purchase order so now we are going to create one purchase order but before that let me explain this one in the Excel first then we will go to the system so already we have one business partner I don't remember the number we will check it in the previous video I created in video number four I created one material master so we will use this one I am going to purchase here hundred units so I'm going to purchase here 100 units of material and at a price of 8 and total we are going to purchase the, what will be our purchase price 800 plus I'm going to add the freight cost also 20 rupees so total your material cost will be 820 because we know that the material price the sorry the freight price is always added with your material master so that is why the total material price will be 820 so out of this 800 that is your material price and 20 is your transportation cost so this one we are going to add in the system and we will create the purchase order so you can access the purchase order or you can create the purchase order through transaction code ME21N and or if you want you can also use the navigation so you can use here the transaction code ME21N 
ME21N, you will get the screen here. Or second option, we can also use the navigation. So I can use navigation, logistic, then I can use here uh, material management, then we can use purchasing, then we can use purchase order, create and purchase order. So here in this list, you will find this screen divided into three segments. So header segment, this is your header information. So in the, this document, we are going to add some informations related to our organization structure, purchase unit, company code. Then this is our line items, what the product we are going to purchase, those details we are going to add, and some more informations related to our conditions and all we are going to update. Now let's <coughs> add those data, the system. So here we are going to create the supplier which we have created in our video number three. Now how we can search it? So one option you can add that directly the numbers, the supplier number if you remember you can add it. Other option in this company code you can add the company code and in this particular company code whatever the vendors or suppliers are there that we can select. Otherwise we have uh, added that time search term so that also we can add your choice anyone you can add i will just add here the company code and execute so two vendors i i have so this one we have created in our video number three so i'm going to use this one then some more details in our header so purchase organization it is part of our organization structure purchase group company code what the product we are going to purchase. So material number 61, we have created in video number four, 100 units we are going to purchase. Expected delivery that, that means when we are going to, uh, when we will create this purchase order, when vendor is going to deliver the goods. So you can expect it like after three days, four days. Uh, uh, so vendor will update like when they can deliver it. So I will show you immediately. So I will take the today's date that I selected here, then currency, material group, then plant, storage location, and here price I have not updated so that I will add in a different place. Now here one question, why we are adding these informations? This information already we have up updated in our material master. So what is the need here? Actually, it's not required as I already updated in the material master. So automatically system should fetch this information from the material master. But if you have not added this information in the material master, then you can also add in the line items. Maybe in this case, it is not required. Anyway, I already updated. Let's continue. Then go to item. Here you are going to update some informations related to condition. Now, uh, let me remove these two items here. So in condition here we are going, to, you can see two condition informations are there. So no need to go into this technicality of this uh, condition. So this condition is related, something related to consultants for the development purpose. This can be same like this is the standard one in every system you will find this one or in your organization when you are going to work. So if some different condition types are created by the consultant, so then that will be appear here and automatically you will get that information. Now this PB00 condition type I'm using for our material and FRB1 I'm using for my freight. So this is how I did my configuration. So th this information you will get no need to worry and no need to remember also. So here against my price. So our price as per the Excel, what is the price? It is eight. So we will take that same eight. The moment I will enter here eight, same price is going to update in the material master. So you can see it is automatically it is updated. Then coming to our freight cost. So we will take here freight cost as 20. Enter. Updated. So I'm getting one message can delivery possible that means like very quick are we going to get this uh, delivery is possible just ignore this message and save it so purchase order successfully created and let's note it for our future reference
Now this purchase order purely logistic document if you recall the purchase order is our logic if you recall our accounting video video number two you will find that purchase order is our logistic document and with reference to this purchase order we are not going to have any accounting document it's purely logistic document so if in interview you will get the question do you, what is purchase order so purchase order is the initial document which is created by the user and with reference to purchase order next activities we are going to proceed so let's uh, check this purchase order so whatever we have created let i want to see that purchase order or whatever the informations i have added i want to see those informations okay let's check that one so this purchase order created i want to see it so to edit purchase order me22n to display it is me23n so i will enter here me23n so it's the same purchase order so last number So as immediately I access this screen, so I'm getting the screen. So otherwise you can search by the purchase order number. So you just need to enter here the purchase order and you can execute also. Otherwise you can go to the document overview and here also you can see what are the, uh, like what are the purchase orders are available in this particular company code. You can search it. So this is our latest purchase order and we got it here. This is the purchase order. Now I want to see all this information related to purchase order. Let's. So this purchase order like we have created here informations related to the organization structure, the line item informations we have updated. Then we have updated our material information. So this is our group material group. Then we are procuring here 100 units. Then this is our delivery schedule. So we are expecting the delivery on this date. Then this is our delivery address uh, delivery. Next we are going to proceed with GR. Then we are next we are going to proceed with invoice. Then after that the condition information, the price freight cost I updated here then other informations my delivery address that means in this location I am going to expect my delivery so all the informations are readily updated in the system so uh, next in our next video we will learn how to create the GR with reference to the purchase order thank you